Experts are trying to find some new ways now to move the needle on COVID-19 vaccination rates among teens. It's partially why Cincinnati Children's hosted a virtual town hall on the vaccine this evening. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Audley was there and she breaks down how experts think it could help. This town hall comes at a critical time as COVID-19 cases remain high and the vaccination rate among eligible youth remains low. We spoke to parents who didn't know about this event. They said they wish there were more opportunities like it. You don't know which what's good information, what's pushed information. Oliver Hunley has questions about COVID-19, especially when it comes to his kids. It's hard in our world with the social media and news outlets and all that good stuff. What to know is actually good information. Clearing up that confusion was part of the goal of Cincinnati Children's Youth Town Hall on COVID-19. The event was also hosted by Cincinnati Public Schools, the Cincinnati Health Department, and the Bengals. We're going to talk about a very important topic tonight about COVID. The goal, getting answers for teens who were eligible for vaccination. I wanted to know um, if the booster shot is something to consider if students are um, already double vaccinated. Cincinnati Children's estimates less than one in four eligible kids is vaccinated in our region, all while kids keep making up a larger portion of Ohio's total cases. This is the first time we we're really engaging youth and the youth voice in, in how we're addressing COVID and COVID vaccination. The teens had a long list of questions. How quickly does the virus spread if you're vaccinated? Like how easily am I to pass it to someone else? What the vaccine is really, really, really great at doing is keep you from being hospitalized or getting sicker. Others shared their thoughts on why they chose to get the shot. If more people are vaccinated, especially people my age, obviously are like season wise and sports wise stuff wouldn't be interrupted. Cincinnati parents we spoke to say they wish they had more chances like this for their kids. Even the kids even though they're younger, they still have a voice themselves. And so um, it's really important that we give them a chance to speak as well. Experts hope answering these questions can help make teens more comfortable getting their shot, especially as so many of them head back to the classroom and the Delta variant continues to spread. Reporting outside Cincinnati Children's, Madeline Adelaide, WCPO 9 News.